Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Hooker back at you with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. Today, we be chasing after these six LTDs once again. We got Nick Chubb, Byron Jones, we got Kyler Murray, Chandler Jones, we also have Pat Pete and Larry Fitz. Let's see if we can pull an LTD, boys, right? We're going to open up 100 Getty Golds, 500,000 coins. Let's see if we can make our, mo our money back or at least pull something crazy. But first, before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that sub button. It helps me out a lot. We're getting close to 1,500, so thank you guys. And I believe when we hit 2K, I'm going to do a big giveaway. So smash that uh, smash that sub button. Also, when you're smashing buttons, hit that like and comment down below. Anything like that, it all helps me out. Uh, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. The more likes and comments, the more people see the channel, the more the channel grows. helps me out. So thank you guys. But uh, let's get going. I'm pretty much going to just be ripping through these packs pretty fast on my controller. And then we'll just kind of talk about the cards that we're getting. Hopefully, we can get some good pulls. Um, obviously, we all know the animations we're looking for. Um, all of the regular limited edition cards. You know, it's going to be like that white animation with their like rainbow sh ribbon swoop thing. And then I do believe that the MCS LTD cards are going to be getting like the Superstar MVP um, animation if I do recall what I saw correctly so we'll see if we can get lucky with one of those um, obviously tons of other animations we're gonna be looking for get lights on a legend series redux ghosts stuff like that anything that we're gonna really be able to try to get a profit on because ideally if we're spending 500k we want to be able to walk out with 500k there we go full campus hero Leroy Butler, 92 overall. That's definitely going to help us out for sure. And then we get lights. So we got back-to-back -back big animations and back-to-back 90-plus -back pulls. Let's go, man. Let's keep pulling some heat. And obviously, get a golds. They're going to go back to golds. So you're not always going to pull fire. Getting 290 back-to-back -back pulls is kind of rare. And from my experience on get a golds, but... We will 100% take it because we're going to be completely satisfied if we can break even. But if we can make a few coins out of this, that's awesome too. But if you guys are going to be opening up a bunch of packs like this to try to make a profit, just remember anything you're spending is 100% expendable. So remember, you're not always going to get it all back. I, uh, I have the expendable coins to be able to do this. Um... I'm trying to make coins, stack my coins, stack up a little bit to be able to get some cards that I want or anything like that. That animation went like, it like spun a lot faster than normal, the 87 Johnny Hecker. But anyways, remember, I'm spending 500k. I'm willing to lose 500k doing this. Don't do not do a big bulk opening like this unless you're willing to lose it all. Just putting that out there. David Andrews, meh. But let's keep let's keep ripping and let's get some fire Montez sweat. We want to do a little bit better than sweat, <laughs> a little bit better. And every time I see an animation, man, I'm gonna be like, is it Pat Pete? Is it Kyler? Oh, we got an old series Redux. There we go, eighty nine Julio. We will definitely take that. Any like I said, any pull is a good pull, so we'll take it. Anything we can make, start chipping away at this five hundred k. Uh, we will definitely definitely be on board with that. And anytime we get more elites than golds, we're in good shape. I usually I feel like it's like a one to five, one to like six ratio of elite to golds that you tend to get out of these, but it varies on these openings. Matt Judon, there we go. Hopefully he remains in purple and black next year, but I don't think so. Unfortunately, one of my favorite players. But that's what the Ravens tend to do with pass rushers or outside linebackers. They'll draft them, develop them. For last year or two, they have pretty good seasons. Then they go get paid $20, $22 million to play for another team. And then sometimes we get them after, uh, after they've had a couple rough years. That's why we got Pernell McPhee back, right? But um, I really just, for my team, personally, I want us to get a big free agent wide receiver. Cut, cut some some salaries where we need to, bring in like Allen Robinson, Kenny Galladay, something like that, or maybe even go for like a splash trade. So maybe we'd get another full campus hero, but we didn't. 
be, I'd be interested if we did like some kind of trade for like a wide receiver. I've heard like different guys' names linked to the Ravens recently. Obviously, it's all speculation. Nobody knows. Like I heard Odell Beckham, but like, are the Browns really going to trade one of their best players to a division rival? I don't think so. That would be a pretty bad decision, but who knows? We'll see. I mean, the Ravens can't draft receivers. Like, Hollywood Brown's good, but he's not, like, he's not great. He's not a, a number one wide receiver. So I think, I think we need to, we just got to pick one up. Trade for Julio. I had a crazy theory that I was talking about with people for uh, trading for Michael Thomas since the Saints are so over the cap and it seems like they're over him. But I don't think that's going to happen. 88 J.K. Dobbins. There we go, my boy, right there. Let's keep going. We definitely got a good check of these left. How many get -a golds do we have left? 51. So we're pretty much exactly, after this one, we're exactly halfway through. And so far, I mean, do you think we've made 250k back so far? I mean, I feel like we've gotten pretty close. Um, maybe maybe close to like that 150 to 200 just because we've gotten a ton of elites. And we've got a couple big ones, like... I feel like that Campus Hero could be upwards of like 90 to 100k. Um, just because the Campus Heroes are a little bit harder to obtain. I don't know if that's exactly true. I definitely just skipped a card there. And we get a Series Redux. Give us a good one. It's the worst one you can get. We're going to go see what card we just skipped because I was just smashing the X button a little, t a little too fast. So let's go back and see what we missed. I'm sure it was... Oh, we missed Richie Incognito. We pulled a freaking heavyweight, and we nerfed the animation. Cool. Classic me move to just nerf an actual decent animation. But regardless, let's keep going. 45 more packs. That's just 45 more chances for us to pull an LTD. That's all. Byron Jones is coming soon. Just... Not yet. He'll show up. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We get a legend here. 92 London Fletcher. That's our, what, our third 90-plus pull? We got three or four 90-plus pulls, which is pretty solid. Bunch of, like, 89s. So, we're moving and grooving. We're, we're perfectly okay with where we're sitting right now. Allen Robinson. Hopefully next year he's on the Ravens, like I was saying earlier. But y'all aren't here for Ravens talk. Unless you want to talk Ravens, I'll do that all day long. But here we go. 93. 80. Freaking hate that you can pull Nat cards. 77. I was like, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. And it wasn't what we wanted. But it is what it is. We keep going. We keep ripping. We don't give up here. Can we pull an LTD? Probably not. Probably not out of a get a gold. I don't have I don't have that kind of luck. But maybe we can pull like some money cards. Some cards that really make make our coins back. Andrew Thomas. Not really what we need there. TV twelve, sorry buddy. Not gonna be you. LTD. Cordero. It might not even be that animation, and I just saw something wrong, but I swear I saw it come out of that animation. I swear that's what I saw. Huh? who knows? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough if we pull it, or we could just watch someone else pull one, but I don't like watching other people pull them. I want to pull one myself. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can do it. Patty Mahomes power up. That's unfortunately worth nothing, because... He was a set master, so you got his power up card. I hate that the way they did that this year, where there's no value in power ups, except for like a few. Like there's a few power ups that have tons of value, and then the rest of them are like worth like 400 coins. <laughs> like last year, it was like, oh, that power up could be like a 20k pull, or oh, that could be a 10k pull, and then this year it's just like, oh, you might get 100 coins. It's just. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to quit complaining now. Mackenzie Alexander, that's 
It's okay. Pretty sure the lowest card you can get, so. We're on a, I feel like we're on a cold streak. We haven't pulled anything great in a little while. How many more we got? 15 get a golds left, boys. We're getting close. If we ended right now, I don't think I don't think that we profited too much. If anything, probably take an L. But we got 15 more opportunities to pull an LTD. So obviously that's what we're gonna do real quick. We're gonna pull one and definitely make this a dub. If not, I mean I'm not expecting that to happen. I like to have videos where I'm not always got great pulls, I'm not always making hundreds of thousands of coins. So you guys can see that it's just every it happens to everybody where they get on cold streaks and they don't pull anything great. But we will keep going. Come on. Come on, we're so close. Give us an LTD. Boo. Boo. Something good? No. And they took away where the um, the playoff cards could be hidden in one of those basically animations. They have like their own animation now. And uh, I'm not going to really, it's not really going to set in with me when I see it. I still think it could be one until I actually pull that animation, which I haven't yet. So we'll just keep going. 85. We'll take an 85. It's better than a 74. Power up. Nick Chubb. Wrong Nick Chubb by a lot. Oh, we get lights on a legend. Give us something big. 87 Rod Woodson. Pretty standard right there, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll go back and look at just some of our bigger pulls. We're not going to look at all of them and look at values. Because that will take forever. If you guys want to see me, or it's not going to be in the sets. Um, but that's something you want to see where like we keep track of like exactly how much we, we spent versus how much we get back. I don't have a problem doing that. You guys let me know, and we'll happily do something like that. But we're just going to look at some of the bigger pulls and see how much coin just in that lump that we'll get back. Like this 92 London Fletcher, 50K. <laughs> and that's a tenth of the pack opening. And you're going to get something back for all the golds. And Richie right here. Ooh, only 15K for 89. I definitely thought that they were going for a little bit more than that. That's 65. We'll look at this Jason Verrett. 8K. So that puts us at, what, 73. So where I was earlier, like, oh, we probably are close to breaking even. I now feel like we're not even close to breaking even. 30K for Julio. So what, like 110K? Somewhere around there. Let's see. We had a, here we go. This is what, like, our biggest pull. And he's only, he's a 90k, so we're at like 200k, and then we'll look at this 90, and then we've obviously got all these 80s, 81s, 82s, I think something like that, 25k for the Ricky Jackson, it's like 225, 230 there, and then we'll do stuff with all those other cards, we'll get some coins back, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today, thanks for checking out the video, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate, I appreciate you all, I love you all. And I'll see you real soon.